trumpets. Oh, no, that's an elephant. There you go. Blow the trumpets. Sound the alarm. Let's talk about that. Five minutes. Blow your trumpets. Good morning, beautiful boy. It is Tuesday. Can you believe it already? Okay, so <clears throat> blowing your trumpets, sounding alarm. Uh, we have this lovely uh, stove, um, even though our old one and the new one still does the same thing. We open it up and we and uh, <clears throat> we have our alarm system go off every time. I think it's due to heat instead of just smoke detector. But then you have to like wave this uh, towel over it, and so and then it stops, and it's really loud. Are and you saying I burn all our food? No, I'm just saying uh, there's heat in the room. Anyway, uh, and so that alarm like triggers people's like response to either get out, there's something wrong. If we do it too many times, then we get used to it, and then it doesn't really matter. Hopefully, we don't get used to it. Um, and then I have to have like alarms all day long. I have to alarm to get up. I have to alarm to go to work. I have an alarm to take my second dose of my medicine. I have a, an alarm to go to this meeting and to that meeting. And there's a notification for this and that. And so I have alarms all day long. So an alarm or a trumpet sounds uh, to alarm you that something's about to happen or something is going to happen or remind you to do something. Well, in Job chapter 2, remember Job was a prophet here, and remember prophecy was about the time that it prophesied and then in the future. So it's a twofold prophecy. So when <clears throat> Joel chapter 2 verse 1 says, Blow a trumpet in Zion and sound an alarm on my holy mountain. Now, first of all, there was this idea of God coming and saying, Hey, Get ready, something's going to end and something's going to begin. And when that happened, that was when Jesus, you know, came to earth, sinless, died, buried, and resurrected. And then there was chaos. There was like huge chaos. When uh, when he died on the cross, people were coming back from the grave. The, the veil was torn in two. Uh, the sun was covered. It was darkness. It was earthquakes. It was just crazy stuff when Jesus died on the cross. And there was an alarm. There was an alarm that something new is going to happen. And there's a new covenant. There's a new promise. There's a, a new uh, new name and a new purpose that the Holy Spirit gives us. And so, you know, Joel was telling them over and over again, there is a day coming. There's a day coming that you're going to be reckoned with, with God. And it, you're going to be reckoned with, with Jesus. And then he goes this. Let all the inhabitants of the land tremble. <clears throat> For the day of the Lord is coming. Surely it is near. And we can say that today. This is the end of the age. Like, <clears throat> when Jesus went back to heaven, from that point on till now, we've been in the end times. This is the end time, guys. Jesus is coming back. <clears throat> he might come back a hundred years from now or a thousand years, but he's coming back. Don't ever give up on that, that hope that Jesus is coming. And so, I think this is relevant for today. Blow a trumpet in Zion. Like, tell people, Jesus is coming. There, there is a day of reckoning. Either you're going to tremble and fear it and don't want it to come, or you embrace it and it's going to be wonderful, it's going to be joyous, it's going to be a jubilation because our Savior is coming out. I can hug him physically um, in, in heaven. So, blow the, a trumpet in Zion and sound an alarm on my holy mountain. You know, get that fire alarm going. Anyway, let all the inhabitants of land tremble for the day of the Lord is coming. Surely it is near. Right? Remember, Jesus doesn't have a clock. He doesn't say, oh, look, I'm late. Oh, my goodness. You know, uh, he kind of started time, but there is no time in heaven. You know, there, it's eternity. And so whenever he comes back, he's going to come back. It, our time and his time are way different. Okay. And so when he decides to come back, it's going to be quick. It's going to be a, you done. So prepare now. Um, prepare and get ready for the day of reckoning is coming. And so, love Jesus, or you're going to miss it. And hopefully you're not trembling of fear, but you're a, a jubilation and, and joy and 
and singing and dancing that Jesus is coming. I love you, Jesus. Love you, too. You have a great Tuesday. Love you, bye.